Welcome to SWPL Gaming, where together we build up and add to an already great handheld gaming community. This is it, the Moki i7s. It's right here, it's boxed up nicely, got a decent weight to it, and it's still got the plastic, you know, clean film wrap on there. I can't wait to dive in there and see what it's about. From what I've told and from what I've seen, the specs on this thing are quite beefy, but along with that comes a beefy price tag. It's not something that I'd normally go for, but because of what I've seen and because of what I've heard, I needed to check this out for myself and see what this bad boy can really do. So let's jump into this unboxing right now. Straight off the bat, look at the quality of this box. It's sturdy and it's strong, still in the clean film packaging. It reminds me much of when you know you first get your iPad or something and it's still wrapped up this way. Let's get inside the box. While I'm taking off this first layer of packaging, let me bring up the specs. So as you can see from the specs, like I said, it's quite beefy. But look at this box. When you take it out of that plastic clean film, it looks a lot nicer. It's sort of like a matte kind of rubberized finish. They got their little logo here. So here's the thing. So the Moki i7s has been labeled as a mobile phone. It's been advertised as a mobile phone. I'm not gonna be calling it that. I'm using it purely for gaming purposes. So let's open this bad boy. And here it is massive screen it's looking fresh it's looking good let me take this out of the box and see what else is inside i did get one of those universal oh it's got really good weight on there it feels good comfortable let's put that over here it did come with a universal adapter to plug into the mains because the power brick is obviously not uk you got your user's manual awesome it looks decent you got your usb type c awesome handy that's exactly what i need and that will probably make for faster charging so that's great and i've got my non-universal power brick right here i'm not going to be using that i'll just use my regular thing but here we go and empty okay let's kick it off with looking at the front of this device well straight off the bat you can just notice it's sleek it looks fancy <laughs> it looks premium and it feels premium you've got your left analog stick here you've got your right they both feel decent and they're not the sliders they got that pivot in there, so that's great. You got your camera at the front here. I believe that's a mic down below this way. The D-pad, the D-pad's fairly small, but it feels really comfortable. It feels really good. I mean, if you like the old Mega Drive D-pad, this is what that feels like. And if you're a Street Fighter player like myself, then you know throwing out these fireballs is not gonna be hard work at all. What would normally mean your A, B and X, Y buttons along the top here, I believe they are now sun, moon, water, and mountain, which, you know, they've gone for a different spin on things and that's pretty cool. I'm sure I've seen these type of indentations before, but I do not remember what device that was. If you know what device you've seen these type of markings and symbols on before, please drop that in the comments below. I'd like to know. When you feel around the borders of the device and where the buttons are held and kept, it feels like a rubberized finish more of a matte finish if I'm honest with you and that's great there won't be any fingerprints to worry about there let's go around the side nothing on that side we'll flip it to the back and straight off you've got your two speakers one on each side here you might not be able to see it there as it's a bit dim but here there's one speaker there there's one on this side here and from what I've heard they are pretty powerful they're pretty loud which is great considering the speakers are set to the back. I think it would have been better if they were set to the front, but unfortunately they're set to the back. At the back, you've got some decal here saying that you've got your battery case underneath. So I assume that you can open that and switch the battery should you need to. So I'm just taking off the back panel here. And as you can see here, it is dual SIM. So you've got your SIM one slot and your SIM two. You've got your battery here and it's, it's quite a hefty battery on there. If I lift this up. And what you can see here, let me bring it closer to the camera. That there is a micro SD card slot, and I believe that takes up to 250 gig of expandable memory. And that is really, really cool. So you ain't got to worry about not having enough space to put your games on. You've got your camera and your flash, won't be needing that. I'm purely just using it for gaming. Back around this end, nothing there. But as you can see, it's got a metallic material. It is metal here, and that's great. It gives it that premium feel. Decent weight to it, that's awesome. 
flip it to the top. You've got your L and your R triggers here, but you've only got an L1 and an R1. It is a shame there's no L2 or R2, but we have to keep in mind this device has been on the market for a little while. It's not one of the newer ones. I think it's about maybe oh, just over a year old, and I guess they just weren't doing L2s and R2 at the time. So you're probably gonna need to get jiggy with some button mapping as and when you need to. But they're here. I believe that's your power button and I can only assume that this is your volume rocker right here. Flip it to the bottom, headphone jack as normal and a USB type C for charging. It feels really comfortable in the hand here. I'm, I'm actually really liking that. Just holding the triggers, pressing them. They're not particularly loud, but they're still satisfying when you press them. The whole feel of it, it just it just it just screams out premium and i'm i'm really liking that and you know let's not forget the button test so i'm i'm giving it a good shake as you can see and i'm not hearing a damn thing it's it's they're all sitting there pretty well usually even the lnr triggers may have a little bit of vibration to them you know they're feeling pretty snug but let's just do a quick size comparison i've got my switch here which has got the case on just so you can see what we're working with and when I say to you that the screen is actually pretty impressive for an Android device such as this that's exactly what I'm saying and but I'm only just showing you this for the size it's not like I'm comparing devices let's turn this bad boy on snail that's the logo So I'm gonna obviously need to set this up. This is what we're getting. So we've got a decent background, decent wallpaper there. And let me peel this off. And I believe there is a screen protector just even under this piece of plastic screen here. And it, the screen just looks fantastic, man. It, it's impressive. These onboard controls work really well. Really responsive. It's feeling quick. I guess I'm just going to have to load up some games. Be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and please tap that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. really difficult playing this through the camera but as you can see the Dreamcast is running real smoothly no glitching no you know it's so good to be able let me just turn this down a little bit it's so good to be able to use a retro handheld gaming device to play some PSP God of War, man. Out of all the handhelds that I've collected this far, this has definitely blown me away. I mean, look, the performance on this is really, really good, especially with some of these more demanding games like God of War. Yeah, it's not 100% perfect. It is a, you know, you can see a little bit of juddering, but at least it's playable. And let's get in some Nintendo DS action right here. I've still got a lot of configurations to do to, so I can get these things off the screen. But this is just to show you guys the performance of this actual device.
Yeah, sorry about the change of location, guys. Something's come up, so yeah, it's a different location. What can I say about the Moki i7s? The price is a bit steep, I can't lie about that. And also you're going to need to do quite a bit of configuration should you get one of these devices. But once it's all set up and you know if you can get over the price, it works beautifully as you've seen. The Android gaming, I didn't expect any less in regards to that. I was well impressed with the GameCube gaming. I'm yet to figure out how to sort out the Wii stuff and possible PS2 titles. I guess we'll wait and see. But for me, I can't lie, I think 2020, even though this device is a little old, this is the best device that I've bought in 2020. I hope you liked the video, ignore the mask, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.